are a few things brewing today, but first no we doubt. have to mention that it is World Chocolate Day. Who doesn't love chocolate? It, well, wait, where First is the chocolate? How come every day we have a national holiday? We, we don't have the thing that we're taught. And there's milk no or chocolate. dark? Which dark. do you prefer? Dark. Oh, I, mean, I prefer is there, milk. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that there was a, such a choice. I thought it was dark chocolate all day. I mean, it's healthier for you. It's true. I just don't like the flavor as much as okay. milk chocolate. Okay. All right. Well, we can Let's agree Let's find some and celebrate. Let's do it. Yeah. After the show, we're going to be on the search for that. Uh, but we want to tell you about a great contest happening right here on CT Style, just in time for those summer barbecues. And uh, you can win a free fire pit. Uh, with a screen included from Kew Gardens, Patio and Garden Center, and you're going to have until next Tuesday to enter. So all you got to do, head on over to WTNH.com slash contest or head on over to our Facebook page to enter to win. All right. Well, right. Here's an unusual arrest in Pennsylvania. It happened a little earlier this week. Four unlucky ducks were taken into custody, accused of loitering outside a gas station. They were booked and even had prints taken of their little webbed feet. Eventually, the police took them home to their owner. So they, they're, they're just sure trying to get lotto video. tickets or something. I don't is that know. what was happening? Not probably. I don't know. But, <laughs> but this guy didn't even get charged. This is even crazier. A 375-pound bear broke into a home in Colorado and then rummaged through the kitchen. Maybe he forgot his KitchenAid or something. And then he look, he, he he's going he into the, the fridge. The refrigerator. Guy is smart. Uh, the bear was in the house for five hours, and the homeowner <gasps> didn't even know the bear didn't was there. Didn't hear someone going through her kitchen? I guess not. A uh, sound sleeper there, probably for the best though. Crazy stuff, huh? Yeah, absolutely. All right, getting a speeding ticket can be expensive. Have you gotten one or two, uh, two in your day? Two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. It, it adds up. It's even more if you decide to go fight it in court. Sometimes it's just easier to write guilty just and pay the it. fine. They got gotcha. you. But now there's a new solution to that that could actually save you some money. It's called Ticked, and it's online. It's a website. You head on over there, and essentially what they do is for uh, a small one-time fee, they will absorb the amount of your ticket, and okay. then they handle all the legal fees and everything like that uh, with their lawyer. So it's, it's kind of an interesting business model. And that's if you plead guilty or not guilty? That's if you are, are going to pay the ticket and you okay. just want to get, get it through the court system. Oh, it seems useful. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, you could save some money on it, which is nice, right? What, Absolutely. What do you think? I you, guess. You just well, had a when recent. You say when you go to court, typically they cut it in half, yeah. right? But you still end up paying something. You save time. You don't have to go to court. You, you just log online. You waste a day in court, though. <laughs> didn't, didn't you just have something like that happen with uh, your contacts? Or... I'm, yeah, I'm due for an exam, but there's a website you could use similar to that to yeah. get your eye exam. Didn't I learned. Know that. I don't know if that's yeah. a great idea, but there you go. You have you, options. You learn something new every day. Hey, uh, do, do you ever change your voice based on who? Who you're interacting? What do you mean, Ryan? What do you mean? Oh, okay, Barry White. <laughs> but it's funny, you know, when you're at home and you're talking to maybe your best friend, your husband, or your wife, and you're just, I had the worst day ever, and then the phone call, and it's your boss, and oh, 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 hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, everything's great. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, day's going well. Thanks so much. I'll have that report done for you. Isn't it interesting though how how we talk differently to people like that? It's true. I mean, it's legit too, and that's what this new study is saying to people they perceive to be of a higher status. Your voice changes; it goes up a higher. couple octaves. That's why on the show all the time I'm always talking to you like this because of oh, course, sure, of she, course. She, she, she's up here. <laughs> uh, but then for a lower pitch voice, you sound a little bit more dominant for men. Uh, so it's interesting. And then there's always the kid and pet. Concept yeah, that always be little baby voices. Just talk to him like he's a little boy. Is that he do it to Dante? Yeah, we yeah. don't do baby voices around how, my house. How about to Brandon? No. No, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you gave him the baby voices. Anyway.